everybody. Welcome back for another shave video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're not going to do a DE shave. Nope. But I did purchase something a while ago and I shared it with everybody and I said I was going to get to a shave with it. And I'm finally able to do that. So we are going to use the Gillette Fusion today as a cartridge shave. But we are going to also use Barbersol. Canned foam, but not just this can by itself. I am going to utilize my Con Air warmer. So this is used for those dispensary uh, cans of uh, foam and gel if you'd like to get a hot shave. Works just like a scuttle for DE wet shaving, only this is a, a plug-in, so you do have to have an outlet in the bathroom and uh, this will warm up your can of soap or foam or gel or whatever you're using. So uh, how does this work, right? Now, it does have a base tube that comes with it and right here are instructions on what you need to do in order to load this up. So this is already a used can and once you put this together don't forget, you have to shake the can. You always shake cans before you shave. And it's no different once you assemble this. You can leave the can attached. And if you go to do a shave and you don't shake the can, you're just going to get warm liquid coming out. It's not going to have any foam whatsoever. So keep in mind, you do have to remember to shake the can. But the first thing that we have to do to assemble this is all of the cans come with a, de a depressor on the top of it. So we have to remove this. Now, this kit does have a key on the bottom. It's just a little key and you just pry it underneath and you go all the way around and you pop it off. These are not very hard to take off. In fact, this one's been taken on and off so many times, I just take it right off. So you expose the, uh, the tube that's under there, okay? Now, on the actual heating element itself, and, uh, and once, we, once we get this going, there is nothing that is too hot. You will not burn yourself with anything here. So don't worry where you're touching when you use this. So there's a little uh, button in the back that you press, and you can see the locking mechanism moves out of the way. So you have to press this in to open up the slot, and you'll see a hole. That's where that little post goes. And when you put it together, you may hear a little whoosh, you know, that's the foam going up in because you're, you're pressing it in. And you just line it up. See? Did you hear it? And then you just let the key go, right? And it locks in place. Okay? Now you'll see on the inside, there's an indicator here that says uh, lock, right? So there's notches right here and you can line them up you can see there's little posts if you can see that there's a little post there they fit right in the notches and all you do okay is just give it a little turn and it's locked all right so this is just all presentation it just hides the can and makes it nice you can use this without putting the cover on however the the length of the head and the weight of the head sometimes will cause it to tip over. Now the base of the can is pretty good. It'll stand up on its own, but uh, once you start pressing this to get the foam out, that's where you're gonna uh, have it tip over because there's pressure and, and this is so wide, it's just, gonna, it's just gonna fall. So this base helps keep it in, uh, in, in place when you look to dispense the foam. Now, what are the controls on top? They're pretty simple. Now this'll heat foam or gel, okay? So there's a switch right here that you can see where it says lather or gel on the other side. So whichever type of uh, can you're using, you're going to set that accordingly. Now you can um, put it like right in the middle or you can mess around with it, but don't do that. Either put it all the way to the lather or all the way to gel. Done. Okay. Now on the top, we have a, uh, a heat indicator. So if you can read, it'll say turn it all the way up for lather, and then you're going to only turn it to there for gel. Hopefully that'll focus for you. So 
there is a there's there's a heating element you know you can do it uh, halfway if you want uh, because you don't want it so hot so let me tell you folks this is going to get one temperature that's it it's not going to be super boiling you're not going to get any burnt skin or nothing you know you can touch this thing anywhere you want after you plug it in you're not going to get burnt this stuff will come out lukewarm at best and you'll get probably 15 to 20 seconds before the heat just dissipates and it's just a regular old uh, air temperature shave uh, but it's the initial contact it will feel warm and it feels soothing and it gets your hairs to react and then when you scrape it with your razor just chop it right off it feels just like a scuttle uh, but don't mess around with halfway or three quarters just turn it all the way up okay just turn it all the way up and, and leave it there all right now there's a couple of buttons on here there's the on and the off button so it will stay on and after you dispense foam uh, it'll just start to reheat again how do you know when it's ready or not well let's plug it in and we'll find out I have a plug right here I may bump the camera so excuse the the jibbers all right so it's plugged in and now I'm going to turn it on and you can see the red light on the top there so that means that we have power and uh, what it'll do is it'll uh, it'll let us know when it's ready it takes maybe a minute and a half two minutes somewhere around there for this to to get warmed up uh, but we have it on lather we have foam in there we have lather heat all the way up so we're just going to let this do its thing. I'm going to put it down here on the counter. And uh, oh, by the way, when you when you um, look to get air uh, uh, the foam out, right there's a button right here. It says press. You're just going to press this big black thing, and it'll come right out here. Now this is just a, a holder because it'll come right out right there. All right. So we just put this on, and it gives us a nice area where the foam just kind of falls into our hand okay so that is getting nice and warm there we go so now you can see the light is blinking so it got warm and then when the light stops blinking and it's steady we're ready all right so that's warming up now i'm going to open this up let's uh do we have any perforations here it says cut on the bottom well I don't have any scissors in the immediate area to use, so. All right, you know what, I'm unprepared. Let me take a pause, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my scissors and I chopped open the bottom. So let's open this up. Now when I bought this and I did a review, I did have a fusion before I started doing DE wet shaving. But the replacement blades are so expensive. That was one of the reasons why I switched to DE shaving. And now, this kit was 10 bucks, 11 bucks with tax maybe. You buy just the cartridge refills and it's 20 plus dollars. And you get three or four. So for $10, I got a new handle, a blade, and a replacement blade. So I think that if you're gonna play the cartridge game, Forget this nonsense of refills. Chuck it and get a new one if you really need to stay with cartridge razors. Otherwise, you're spending more than you need. And if you can make the jump to DE wet shaving, do that. I highly recommend it. I still use these. I'm using one right now. You don't have to give it up. It's just you don't have to keep replacing cartridges as much. Okay, so this has a, a nice uh, cover on the blade and this is a one two three four five blade razor so I'm looking to do one pass and maybe a little touch up you don't do multiple passes because one pass there's five blades going across your face you get two passes that's ten blades it's like shaving ten times irritation starts to happen and then even the replacement head has a uh, has a plastic holder so very cool. Alright, now as we were talking, the light is now blinking. Again, it was steady. So even though no foam came out, it recycled itself to keep the foam warm. So uh, you can dispense whenever you want. Since this is recycling again to keep the foam warm, I know the foam is ready to go. 
So that's what we're going to do. I'm just going to wet the face real quick. Got hot water in the sink. Okay. So it's, it's kind of hard to show you this because usually you just reach and you, and you do that. So I'm going to use two hands for this and hopefully you'll get to see. Now, look at how nice and foamy that is. Did you see the, uh, the heat, like the smoke coming off of this? It feels warm in my hand, but it's not burning. It's not hot. So we're just going to put it on. And this is lukewarm. It brings out the scent of the Barbasol. Mmm. You know what? If Sinatra Lennon is watching, I wonder if he has one of these. He loves his Barbasol, man. He loves his Barbasol. But I'm just going to put that on. And you don't have to use a brush. I guess you can put this into a brush and use it to distribute, but I'm just going to do it by hand. Now I do have my Movember goatee on, and that will be coming off in the next shave. It's a kind of a, it's a promo shave. Uh, I won't lie, but um, we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put some items to the test, and we're gonna shave it off in the next shave. All right, got it all over my collar. But hey, that's what happens when you wear a shirt and you shave. Okay, so here is our Gillette's Fusion. We're gonna put it in the warm water. Here we go. Mmm, nice barber shop scent. You can hear the feedback. There's really no catching. This thing glides like butter. I mean, this is for those days where you're just like, zip, zip, done. You're short on time. You gotta go. You don't have to worry about irritation. And you can see the head pivot. Now some of them don't have just the uh, just this pivot, right? They'll, they're on a ball and they'll go back and forth and everything. So pretty easy to keep the sideburns lined up because I had my ears lowered last week. <laughs> For those of you that don't know what that is, I actually think I had my ears lowered. No, I got a haircut. All right. Yeah, no irritation whatsoever. And I had a few days growth and you can see it's just chopping right through it. I mean, what was that? With talking. A minute? I mean, five blades across your face. BAM! Done! Now you do have a little bit, right? If you try to go against the growth, you will feel the stubble. You, we only shaved in one direction, but you know what? In a pinch, this passes. You're good to go. However, I'm going to put a little bit of warmth back on my face. I'm going to do a touch-up right here. The jawbone. Just a little bit on the neck. Okay. There definitely is hair in the sink. Now that's one of the complaints about cartridge razors too, is because you have multiple blades and the, uh, the, the hair will get gook and stuck in between the blades. And then after a while you gotta chuck it, even though the blade itself may still be sharp it doesn't shave the same because you can't get that stuff out of there. And they're so tightly packed in there, a toothpick uh, may get it out, but now you're starting to dull the blade, etc., etc. I'm going to turn this off because I'm done. I'm not going to be using it anymore. Oh, you know what? I shaved that way already. Hey, you hear that? This will give you feedback which is good.
And I'm really not using any pressure either. That's one of the big things that noobs to DE wet shaving have to learn is that you can put pressure on a cartridge razor and be fine. But when you go to a double-edged blade, let the razor do the work. I mean, I got no problems shaving across the neckline with one of these. <laughs> Nothing. Now, if I was using a, a DE blade, I'd have to be careful. Yeah. Definitely feedback. Let me rinse the face. Get a cold rinse on here. Get some of this hair in the sink down, man. Let me tell you. Must have had probably four days of growth or something like that. Oh. It's been a while since I brought you guys a shave video. Oh, in case you're wondering, uh, mom is doing fine. Uh, so everything seems to be going okay. We still have some checkups left to do, but all positive to date, so she's feeling much better. Thank you all for those of you that um, put your well wishes in. I do appreciate uh, you uh, saying a prayer or two for us. Okay. Still a few things left to do for the holidays. A few gifts left to buy, but pretty much we're set to go. The uh, My daughter's making a gingerbread house, I think, this week in school. We had to get her uh, some of the you know, sprinkles and uh, frosting and stuff like that. They're going to have a party at school, so... Yeah, see now, when I go the reverse order, I didn't shave the whole face twice, just a touch up. Definitely better than one pass, and this will be good. So that'll do it for today's shave. We used the Gillette Fusion 5 blade cartridge razor to do a shave with. And we also used the Barbasol shaving foam, and we had heated it up in our Con Air dispenser. So it's a warm shave using a can. You can use, again, foam or gel. Thanks for spending the time with us. We do appreciate it. We know that you can uh, spend it with some other YouTuber and spend it watching someone else's videos. So I'm thankful that you chose this channel and to spend time with me. I also am very thankful if you're a subscriber. If not, please hit the subscribe button and become a member of MC Shaving. Have a good holiday. We'll talk to you in the next video. Take care. Good night.